everybody, JD here, and welcome to my little uh, shack on the side of the lake. I can't fish today because the uh, weather's too bad. We have five foot waves and 40 mile an hour winds out there. So I had to cancel my trip. So instead, I'm in here working on some plugs, doing some modifications, and I wanted to show you one that I like to do with pretty much any plug. It's uh, steelhead plugs, salmon plugs, striper plugs, bass plugs, uh, walleye plugs, whatever you're throwing plugs for. Uh, this will help you keep fish on longer. And what I'm doing here today is doing a little modification on my plugs to avoid what I call lack of treble hook rotation. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we'll take a stock out of the box Yakima bait flatfish, okay? And you'll notice the plug is a, or the hook is attached to the plug via split ring that's attached to the eyelet on the body of the plug, right? So when a fish bites, you have a fish on and he starts twisting and turning, what happens is you're tight here, right, to the line. The fish will start trying to roll and rip these hooks out. And because you only have about a half a rotation until that thing comes tight right there fish can really use that leverage to rip himself free from the hook. So what I like to do is add a second split ring. Let's see if you can see that there. So all I've done is taken the hook off and the split ring and just added a second one in there. So now what happens is fish is on and he can rotate almost that whole 360 degrees, right? And that will help you keep fish on, especially in fisheries where you have to use barbless. You just can't use that leverage to, to torque the fish off. Now the same concept holds true with pretty much any plug. So let's take a glide bait that you're gonna throw for bass or stripers, for example. Now on some of them, like the quality ones, like the G-Rat baits, Pistol Pete and Sneaky Pete, they come pre-rigged with a rotating swivel built into the body. So you don't have to worry about it on those. But if you buy, say, a little bit uh, less expensive brand, you can see it's got just the standard one split ring and you're not going to get that rotation so i would add a second split ring onto those kind of baits now when i'm adding a second split ring i typically change out the treble hooks too so for example here's the stock hooks on this little k14 and it's got the single split ring and the hooks are okay but not really up to uh my standards so here's one that i've I've re-rigged again, it's got the double split rings and uh, I'm changing out the trebles to a, uh, a better brand. In this case, these are owners. Man, I think that plug's been bit a little bit. Look at all the teeth marks, gotta love it. So one thing I can tell you about switching out treble hooks and adding split rings is you wanna try to keep the weight as similar to what the plug originally was designed for because they make these plugs, they test them in tanks and they're, they're tested for whatever hooks are on them. So if you start messing around too much, you could change the action of the plug. For example, sometimes I'll just run a single treble hook off the back if it's like in a catch and release fishery where I don't wanna have two trebles. Two trebles sometimes can just be a, a huge pain. So I've got the double split ring set up there, right? But since I took the front hook off, I left the split ring and added a swivel that's not going to get in the way of anything. You see, it's, it's, it's clear there. But what that does is kind of keep the same weight that that treble hook that I took off would have given the plug. So I'm not messing with the plug's action. So if you notice, you put your plug in and all of a sudden it doesn't run right, uh, you may have overloaded it or, or changed the balance. So just pay attention to the, uh, the weight of the plug because uh, a little bit of imbalance can really throw these things off. So anyway, that's your tip for the day. Oh, by the way, for getting split rings off, don't mess around with the cheapy little split ring pliers like I have forever. These Pitbull split ring pliers from uh, Monster Tackle, very nice, very nice. They're they're probably like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. Not, not bad, but definitely worth it. I've had those little cheapy ones with the orange handles, you know, and uh, they, they kind of get all smushed out and drives you crazy. So anyway. That's all I got for today. We'll catch you later. See ya.